Tonight, tonight, I saw Spielberg's West Side Story tonight. And it was, well, West Side Story. Based on the acclaimed stage musical of the same name, which was previously adapted into an acclaimed and Academy Award winning film in 1961, Steven Spielberg has now created a new adaptation of the play. But does he have anything new to offer in what is already considered by many to be a masterpiece? Starring Rachel Ziegler as Maria and Ansel Elgort as Tony, West Side Story is a tale of two rival gangs fighting for control of a neighborhood in 1950s Upper West Side Manhattan. A modern day retelling of Romeo and Juliet, lovers from rival gangs with the Capulets and Montagues replaced by the white American Jets and the Puerto Rican American Sharks, with gangs poised for a fight to determine control of the neighborhood, Tony pleads for peace on behalf of Maria, hoping to create an environment in which they can be together. But anyone who knows the story of Romeo and Juliet knows there isn't a happy ending. Spielberg's new rendition of the classic musical is well made. While the original was the highest grossing film of 1961 and winner of 10 Academy Awards, it is dated in many regards. Opting for a more direct from stage to screen adaptation of song and dance numbers, the original comes off a bit hokey at times, and I've always found it hard to believe criminal gang members twirling and prancing around the city. But the original themes are well crafted and the songs timeless. What Spielberg does well with his West Side Story is updating it for modern audiences. With better cinematography, more character development on minor characters, and better singers for the side characters too, Alongside toning down the campier aspects of the dance routines while still honoring the classic choreography, as a musical, the new West Side Story looks and sounds terrific. But taking an older film and polishing it up with better production value should be a given considering the 60 years that has passed between film adaptations. Where Spielberg drops the ball, in my opinion, is offering anything new of substance to make his version feel necessary. Yes, minor characters get a little more leg room, but nothing that makes them feel any more important than they already did in the original. And in some instances, minor plot points and character building moments are unnecessarily added to the film while dropping ones from the original that actually gave weight to the scenes they were in. Examples of these are the whittling down of the War Council scene to a brief agreement in a bathroom at the dance, or additions such as making the gun in this version a bigger plot point. Many times, plot points are changed more so to reflect modern topics not present in the original, such as the change of anybody's from a tomboy to full-on transgendered. Many of these changes add nothing to the greater scheme of the film and feel more politically motivated than story-driven. While the songs are well sung, characters decently acted, and choreography well done, all Spielberg really does well in this film are the technical aspects. Some scenes shine out just as good, if not better, than the original, such as the Officer Krupke routine, the iconic Tonight piece, and the gym dance scene. But if you're remaking a 10-time Oscar winner, one would hope you would nail the film's most iconic moments. As is, Spielberg's film is okay, but just doesn't do anything to make it the definitive adaptation of the play or even one worth watching over the original 1961 film. I give 2021's West Side Story two out of four stars.